Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're discussing Golden Nugget Online Gaming with a specific focus on the Michigan Gambling Commission filings, which is shedding some light on how GNOG is performing in Michigan. As always, we're going to be discussing some elements of this, which I've not seen anyone else discuss so far. So if you're interested in GNOG, then this is definitely one you don't want to miss. Now, before we get into anything, it's come to my attention that there are some fake accounts pretending to be me in the comment section, trying to get people to join WhatsApp groups and loads of other things. If my name is not highlighted like this, and instead looks like this, then this is a fake account, so please report it to YouTube. Also, for the more eagle-eyed amongst you, the number is a US number, and I'm based in the UK currently, where our dial code is plus four four. Now, a few people have shared their conversations with me that they've had with this scammer, and so thank you so much for those people who have, but please be careful. This has been reported to YouTube, so hopefully it's something we can get fixed as soon as possible. Please, again, I'm asking for the same favour as always on this channel now. In our ongoing battle against clickbait content on YouTube, can you smash the like button so the algorithm knows that it doesn't need to only push the sensationalist clickbaity content. It's not good for the community long term, and the support you guys have shown to this course so far by continually hitting the like button is amazing. Thank you so much. It's massively appreciated, and please keep it up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see more exclusive content, live video calls, and to join the private Discord group, then check out the Patreon page. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only, but let's get straight into it. So, earlier this week, the state of Michigan, through its gambling commission, released its online gaming figures for the month of March. Now, interestingly, the majority of the media and news which came out after these filings was focused around the online sports betting, which for GNOG is actually a very small component of the overall business. As such, if you were just to have read those articles and reports, you could be forgiven for thinking that GNOG's actually not doing that well in Michigan. However, when you dig into the numbers and you dig into the actual data a little bit more, and you look at the online casino gaming part, which is actually what GNOG's primary focus is, then you get a much better and much clearer view. So we know that GNOG, in Michigan, has its online gaming activities under the license for Kawinor Bay. Now, forgive my pronunciation of that, I'm sure I've got it completely wrong, so I'm sorry. However, for the month of March, they reported gross gaming revenues of $3.4 million. Now, this represents a really strong growth on February of 57%. However, that's actually not a meaningful statistic on its own in this sense. Given the market's very new, it's just opened up, and growth is massive here, the market is nowhere near mature, so it's still rapidly scaling. A much more important figure here to look at instead is the market share, and especially how that is trending. In summary, across the entire period from January to March, GNOC has accounted for around 3% of the total online gaming revenues for Michigan from that period. And so ultimately that means it has a 3% market share. However, in the month of March, this was actually a lot higher at 3.6%. If we look at February, GNOC had a market share of 2.7%. So this is a clear, good trajectory of market share growth, and that's good to see. What this ultimately means is that GNOG is growing faster than its competitors, it's growing faster than the overall market, and it's capturing market share. This is great to see. Winning market share is really important, especially when a market is in its very nascent early stages like the Michigan market is currently. We've also seen in other markets that GNOG is active in that its customers are sticky and they have some degree of loyalty. And that ultimately means that there is a degree of first mover advantage in these markets, so that's important. Let's also remind ourselves that the Michigan market is growing much more rapidly than the New Jersey market did when that first opened up and allowed online gaming. We already knew this was the case when the company released its Q4 earnings last month. However, it's a trend that's definitely continued again here. This is a really good sign, and I would not be surprised to see this trajectory in Michigan continue, but also in new states as they open up and legalise online gambling, seeing that initial growth rate and ramp to maturity happen a lot quicker than it did do in New Jersey. Now, we know that Michigan is an important market, it's a very sizable one, and GNOG getting a strong position here is a good outcome for the company. This is something which, personally, I'm keeping a close eye on. Another important thing to remember and to reflect on is around the management projection for Michigan presented in the Q4 earnings again. They nearly predicted it totally spot on for month three. They predicted $3.3 million, but actually it outperformed and delivered $3.4 million. What's important to note here is that the level of gross gaming revenues in Michigan in month three of $3.4 million is now the same as what New Jersey was generating after 48 months of operation. This just demonstrates the ability now for these markets to scale much more rapidly and is something that's really important to consider as new markets open up. This makes it even clearer how important it is that GNOG management are focused on addressing and successfully entering new states as soon as they open up. Establishing a strong market share in a new and growing market is a much easier task than entering a mature market and attempting to capture market share from there. I see this as a good sign and something which I personally want to really see continue. It's still very early days in this investment thesis and you definitely need to consider that when investing in GNOG. 
This is not something that's going to explode overnight. It takes time for the strategy to play out and for new states to legalise online gaming. However, the company has strong underlying fundamentals and clearly, based on its track record, it's positioned well to capitalise on the compelling opportunity here, which is new states opening up and legalising online gambling. So as a long-term investment, as investors, it's very important that our personal time horizons on this needs to be calibrated to that. Now, another important consideration here is that shortly we should have the Q1 filings released for Genog. This will give us a much better view overall of how the company has performed during the first quarter of this year. Personally, from everything I've seen, I'm expecting good news, but I'm looking forward to that being validated with the official release of those filings. Personally, based on everything I've seen to date, I'm expecting good news, but I'm looking forward to that being validated in the official filings when they get released. Now, currently, the company does have positive coverage from the analysts which cover it. All of them have buy ratings and also very attractive price targets based on where the stock price currently is today. A good set of Q1 filings could be great news for the company, and depending on if the company's outperformed, this could be a potential catalyst for a price target upgrade from those analysts. When these are filed, I'll be keeping a close eye on how the company's performed and whether it's beaten those estimates which the analysts had. In summary, I'm very excited by the news this week from Michigan, and hopefully this can act as a lesson to all investors. Do not just take the news on face value, because you could be excused in this scenario, if you had done, for thinking that Genog actually wasn't performing that well in Michigan. Always dig into the underlying information and data and make sure you understand the full picture and the full story. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed and check out the Patreon group if you want to join the live video calls, the private Discord and a load of other things. As always, please let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I find it so interesting to hear all the different perspectives, so please get involved. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.